Here we are on a turkey farm in the UK. And we have a bunch of turkeys behind me. It's Christmas time soon. And these birds will be killed to order for someone's Christmas table. It's crazy in here, eh? So look how many of them there are. They're all gonna be executed for a Christmas dinner. So you can eat their body, sat around a table with your family. You're taking the life of a sentient being. Look at them, with their eyes and look at their faces. Curious, adorable birds, super intelligent. And they're in here, this shed packed in together. Feces on the floor. Like this is a small scale turkey farm. So the more larger intensive farms are horrific, but you know, these birds are all gonna face a knife across the throat. For what? For what, for Christmas tr tradition? Look at all their little beady eyes looking over at us. It's okay, you're free. Everything's okay. You're not going to be anyone's Christmas dinner. <sighs> No one gonna hurt you anymore. You darling. So this is Tinsel, and Tinsel is a free range bronze and she was actually rescued from being someone's Christmas dinner. She's such a beautiful bird. And kids will come out of a, more of a small scale farm, but still hundreds of them in a barn. And when I first got her, she smelled a lot like urine and feces and she was absolutely exhausted. And gave her a bath and gave her a wash and she's been spending lots of time with me. You having a drink of water? Good, good girl, now you know. <sighs> She has so many different vocalizations, which are really adorable. She might have different vocalizations to ex express something different if she's alarmed or if she's just letting you know where she is, or she might purr. She even sneezes, and it's seen a turkey sneeze before. She really likes to look at and play with herself in the mirror. I don't know if she knows if that's actually her. And the other night when she was in the bedroom, she started jumping up on top of me. So the turkey just flew up and landed on the bed. <laughs> Tinsel here's just been an absolute delight. We've been spending lots of time together, getting lots of cuddles, feeding her lots of fruits and vegetables. She's been getting very attached. So when I went out, she started like calling out. I've been feeling a bit distressed, so I don't go out anymore. I just stay here with her make sure she feels okay. She, she's such an interesting, intelligent bird. And I'm so grateful that Tinsel's with us. And Tinsel will not be anyone's dinner. By the time this is aired, Tinsel will be very safe and away from any danger. She won't end up on anyone's plate. The hardest part last night was choosing who to take. You know, there was hundreds of little eyes looking at us, but I just didn't know who to choose because I knew that the ones that I didn't choose were going to be killed. So it was a tough thing you can't save them all. So I'm just hoping that by this video, I can save a few more birds by influencing people to not eat them. Rescuing birds from slaughter should not be a crime. It's a crime to rob an animal of their life at a fraction of their lifespan. Turkeys have a natural lifespan of 10 years, but turkeys in the turkey industry will be killed at between eight and 26 weeks. So it's a horrible injustice. If you're someone who's feeling something for this bird and for this story and going, oh, how sweet, how cruel that they were going to cut this animal's head off. Well, with Christmas coming up, you might be actually sitting around a table where there's a corpse of a bird like this used as a centerpiece. We're basically rescuing animals like this from you because it's you who are putting these systems into place. It's you who are paying for these systems to exist. Tinsel is a free range bronze, but most turkeys people will eat at Christmas time will come out of intensive farms and over 90% of the turkeys in the UK are reared in intensive farms and they're the barn white. 
We've all seen exposés of turkey farms across the UK and the USA before and Australia. They're absolutely horrific. Most birds are treated in horrific ways and turkeys are not exempt from that. So you might be sitting around with your family and go, you know what, we really don't like the cruelty that's inherent in the turkey industry. We wanna you know, go for something more specialty. We wanna get a special breed turkey and they've had access to the outdoors. Birds that have been treated better, what you consider better, have more of an interest in living. So it's even more of an injustice to rob them of their life if they have better well-being. Okay, they might be in the better conditions, they might have access to outdoors, but then they'll get hung upside down and have their throat slashed open in something called a killing cone. How the hell could you cut the head off a beautiful bird like tinsel just so you can sit around with your family at Christmas and dine over their dead body? I mean, it's just not fair. So when we're talking about animal rights, we're talking about taking away their right to life, their right to their own bodily autonomy. You know, these things are important to an animal. So it's not just about the cruelty, even though most of you out there are eating animals that are intensively farmed. It's just a statistical fact. But even those small amount of you that are getting these special breed turkeys, it's still a horrible injustice. Now, free range turkeys aren't supposed to be mutilated, but Tinsel here has had a beak cut. The reason they do that is because there's too many in the barn. So they end up pecking each other and getting aggressive. The main way that, that most turkeys are killed in the UK is with a gas chamber, which is a horrible method of death. Usually CO2 gas and takes them a long time to suffocate and die and causes the animals a lot of pain and distress. And other ways to kill birds is with an electrical bath and a rotary blade or in killing cones, having their throat slashed open or neck dislocation, which is horrific. Turkeys have also been bred to be about double the size as they usually would be. They're so big now they can't exhibit all their own natural behaviours like mating and like perching and things like this and they are bred too big for their body weight to handle. But they'll be violated in the most disturbing way uh, in order to breed them. It's horrible exploitation and it, sh it should be a crime in and of itself. So when you think about the spirit of Christmas, uh, sitting around with family comes to mind, compassion, sharing, giving gifts, singing, having a good time, love. It's a really magical time for a lot of kids and a lot of families. But what better gift to give at Christmas than to give the animal the gift of life, than to not take their life from them. There's nothing more diametrically opposed to the spirit of Christmas than robbing an animal's life so you can nourish yourself. Why not nourish yourself with plant foods and have a vegan Christmas where no one was tortured, no one was murdered? That makes me really upset to see what human beings do to these birds over some insane tradition. I think traditions should always be questioned. Some, some traditions are, are good and fine and okay, and other traditions are cruel and outdated, and Christmas turkey dinners are one of them. But when you meet an individual animal, like Tinsel here, kind of makes you realise like, wow, these birds are all unique and they're all special in their own little ways. And human beings are breeding them like freak shows in order to eat their body parts and it's an absolute disgrace. So Tinsel really loves head strokes. It makes her feel nice and relaxed. And she closes her little eyes like this. How could you eat a bird like this? Look at this. Look at this beautiful angel. Horrible. What, what happens to these birds, and they just want to live. So if you're one of these people out there who's trying to be more progressive, who thinks that you know eating meat is cruel and should be a thing of the past, exploiting animals is cruel and should be a thing of the past, then down below we've left a little Christmas download pack, and there's amazing recipes in there, there's amazing alternatives to turkeys, you know, vegan alternatives, plant-based Christmas roasts and desserts and delicious uh, substitutes for animal body parts. You know, you can have some delicious plant-based pigs in a blanket or you can have a tofurkey roast or a vegan gravy or a vegan, you know, dessert with your Christmas dinner, vegan wine and, you know, no animal should be harmed so you can enjoy your Christmas. So please don't eat tinsel the turkey this Christmas and be vegan. Now, right, Tinsel? Are you nodding? Yeah? <laughs>